Everybody, um, this video is just to answer a question somebody asked me, but I hope it helps uh, everybody else who's <laughs> maybe finding the same problem difficult. Um, it's a little confusing, and it wasn't particularly spelled out uh, on Adobe's website. I'm sure uh, you know enough hunting, I could probably hunt it down. But basically, I just I had this idea, and I said, "Hmm, I wonder if because there are there are uh, options in Lightroom Classic that you are not able to do in the Adobe Creative Cloud version." of Lightroom. And what I mean is if you're a subscriber to Adobe, you get, you know, you can get a, but these are my programs. You can get all these programs and you can use them uh, cloud-based or you can download. So you've got Lightroom and then we've got Lightroom Classic. This one's the des desktop focused one. And this is cloud one. You can get it for iPad and all that other stuff. When they make these, they exclude, they sort of make these for like for everybody, not necessarily for technical creators and definitely not for studio guys. So, you know, this one is, you can only use it on a desktop, but I would recommend you download this one because there is no such thing as tethered shooting when you're in this version of Lightroom here. Anyhow, so let's get rid of this guy. This is the original Lightroom, and normally you would like import, you would go to Canon 5, uh, EOS 5 DSR, but all this is going to bring up is a list of photos, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of that version of Lightroom. We're in Lightroom Classic right now. So in Lightroom Classic, I am in a thing, a little uh, thing I opened up here. Uh, I've got this underexposed picture of my dog. But anyway, it's testing one, two, three. So this is our folder that we're in, right? So all you're going to do is go to File. And down here, you've got a tethered capture button and just hit start tethered capture. My computer's already already plugged in. It sees my computer as, as one of the uh, options for importing. But instead of importing, we want to actually shoot and have the photos live fed right to the computer. Um, this is not the same as EOS Utility 3. You cannot use this to look through the viewfinder, but you can add metadata, which they give you a ton of stuff. So if you're doing a studio shoot, you can put every possible piece of information you need in here, and it's going to follow... Um, it's going to follow the each shot right in, so it'll be attached, and so so that's really nice. I, I'm not using that, but anyway. So when you hit OK, it's going to say detecting camera again. This is the EOS 5 DSR, um, and uh, so real quick, you get this little uh, this little thing here that just popped up, right? Um, I just set it right here. It's kind of out of the way, and I've got my screen. I'm on a 27 inch screen, so it's I've kind of dumb the size down a little bit because anyway so my shutter's at 40 uh i'm gonna move that to 50 aperture 4.5 i'm just i had a fisheye lens on there so anyway this is just for like for fun you can actually hit the uh, shutter button and it will fire the camera um right now i've got a flash on it and it'll fire the flash and so nothing else changes about that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera and uh take a picture of my dog real quick and You'll hear the shutter go off, I'm sure. Okay. So, there we go. Get a little brighter picture going on. So, um, I just took this picture. It only took a couple of seconds, and boom, now we have it. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much it. There's a few settings in here, but, I mean, honestly, it's more about sequencing and templating and uh, what kind of metadata you want to transfer over. I mean, other than that, this it's pretty basic. You know, you've got some basic uh, shots, but if you're using this, it's more just so that it's a secondary screen. So if you're shooting a subject and, you know, the resolution, you're shooting raw, this 5DSR is a 50 megapixel camera. I run into this all the time. Most of the time when I'm out shooting, I just take multiple photos because I'm not 100% sure about the exposure and things like that, you know. Um, I've got a 600EX 2RT, which is really helpful if you're having trouble focusing. Get one of those. It's worth the money. Even if you turn the flash part of it off, it will help you focus. Um, it does have that uh, that red grid that comes out. That uh, I don't know what kind of laser that is, but, but anyway, um, just a tip. So anyway, I hope that uh, you all found this helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments if anybody else needs help with anything. Um, I am more than happy to... Uh, let y'all know, and uh, if anybody asks what kind of dog that is, your guess is as good as mine. But he's darn cute, isn't he? All right, everybody, later.